so before writing our github actions workflow first we need to identify which approach we, sh we will be using to authenticate between google cloud and github right so we will be using oidc authentication for authenticating to our google cloud so uh, for that we will be using this action for authenticating to google cloud inside our ci cd workflow right so in this we need to pass the workload identity provider and the service account right but uh, before uh, adding this to our workflow we need to configure something in our g cloud right so that it can be authenticated so these are the steps you need to follow so first you need to create a workload identity pool right and then you need to create an identity provider then you obviously have to create a service account and uh, you need to assign some roles also so that uh, that are required to create, uh, deploy your application right and then you need to add some im policy binding so that your service account can be authenticated with the repo with the github repo right so this is the uh, like web flow chart so you can see how it will this auth authentication will work so basically our github action workflow basically uh, it directly authenticates with the service account but it requires a workload identity pool in between so it basically generates a temporary token right so for authenticating with github and so this is also a graph so you can see so let's see what are the steps you need to follow for implementing this authentication right so you need to run these commands i have already here so first you need to create a new workload identity pool right so for that you just need to copy this command and just paste it right so paste it and here you need to edit this and you can add your project id here and how you can get your project id you just need to go to your console google cloud console and you can just copy it from here and we just need to paste it here and just enter so our workload identity pool is created now what is the next step we need to create a identity provider so we created the workload identity pool and now we need to create the identity provider so this is the command for that in this also we need to add our project id so let's add our project id here so here you can focus we are okay so i did some mistake here let me again change the project id only and let me copy again my project id Let's paste here. Okay. So just enter. And here, if you see my workload identity pool name is Kubernetes pool, and the provider name is Kubernetes provider, right? And uh, now see the next step. You need to create a service account with these permissions. So you can get these all permissions on my GitHub. This you need to assign. So I, I already have a service account here, TFGK test, and all, I already provided these roles to this service account, okay? So now, next thing, we need to add the IAM policy bindings. So let's copy this command here and paste it, okay? So now, here you need to do some changes. So in this GitHub repo, you need to add your GitHub repo here. Let me make it a little bit big so you need to add your repo so let's so this is my repo and we need to copy the username and the repo name here whip and now we need to add here the project number right so how you can get your project number you just need to run this g cloud projects describe and your project id okay uh, let's copy our project id and so you can also copy from here okay so if you run this command you can get all information about your project so you can see your project number is this one so you just need to copy it and paste it here uh, instead of this project number okay it is here now and now what we need to add here we need to change this gcp project id 
right and we have our gcp project id this one let's copy it paste it here and now here you need to add your service account email which you have created okay so let's copy the service account email this is our service account let's add it here and just enter okay so now it's created it's updated the IAM policy so now what is the next step also yeah you need to create a GCS bucket for storing your Terraform state file but I already have created and I added that secret into my github secrets right so you need to add these secrets to your github repo one is GCP project ID one is GCP TF state bucket so let me add these two secrets if I go to settings, how you can get, uh, you need to go to secrets, actions. I already have some actions, but uh, some secrets here, but I need to add these secrets. So what are the secrets we need to add? GCP project ID. Just copy it. Okay. And create the new repository secret, GCP project ID and the copy your project ID this was our project id add here now you need to add your tf state bucket name also so let me see what was my bucket name let me open cloud storage So I think we need to create a bucket also here. Let me create a bucket. Uh, let's name it Kubernetes Terraform state. Okay. It is already taken state file. Continue, continue and let's create it. Now just copy this bucket name and just add here as a secret okay so we have added secrets now we can start writing our github actions workflow right so i have this directory here i can delete it i don't need it now because we i have already my kubernetes configurations inside our terraform directory right so let's create a new folder dot github slash inside we need workflows folder and inside this we can create a workflow file let's say deploy.yaml right so what will be your deploy.yaml file let's see first of all we need to add some name here let's name it deploy to kubernetes pip and on which event you want to run this workflow on push and specify some branches filters so what is our branch we, our branch is this one complete ci cd with terraform and gke so add the branch name here now you need to add some environment variables for your global workflow so let's add them so first environment variable will be gcp project id right and from where we can get this we have already added the secret for it right gcp project id and uh, one is tf state bucket name right for terraform state bucket and we already have this inside our secrets so that is gcp tf state bucket right now let's write our sorry our uh, jobs and so our only one job will be there is deploy it will run on ubuntu latest add some environment variables for our job let's say image tag why image tag we need to add some image tags in our docker image right so github.sha and now 
we need to add some permissions here because we are using the OIDC authentication methods, right? So you can, you need to specify these permissions here. So contents read and ID token because it will generate a token, right? Right. Uh, now we can start writing our steps for our workflow, right? So for the steps, first step will be checkout, right? We need to check out our repo inside the GitHub runner, right? So what was the action? Actions checkout. We can see version three of it. And the another one was this one, right? We need to authenticate with GCP. So let's add it here. I think there is some indentation error. Okay. And how you can do? Let me change it. Okay, now it's correct. Just add one more input here, token format, and it will be access token. Okay. All things are fine. Now we need to change here something. Okay, what we need to change? We need to change these. This uh, complete work uh, this project number we need to change it so if you remember we have identified our project number so this was our project number so just paste it here and now see pool we need to add what was name our pool uh kubernetes pool and provider was kubernetes provider right And now we need to add the service account here. What was the service account? So this one. So for some best practices, I can say you don't add this project ID here instead of we already have the environment variable of GCP project ID. So we can add GCP project ID here. So it will fetch it from the secrets because we already have it defined here GCP project ID GCP from secrets, right? So if you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.